60% of Europeans don't do any kind of sport and probably about 50% of them don't really do enough physical activity to get any sort of health benefit. And that's the motivation why the World Health Organization and the European Commission have kind of come together to say physical inactivity is a massive challenge to the European population. It needs changing. The health is a problem everywhere. If you are not active, then for sure in the future we will have a huge and bigger problem. At a young age, people aren't getting into the behaviour and attitude of participating in regular sport. What does that cost in terms of bariatric care or secondary conditions or mental health issues later in life? We have not a real culture of playing sport just as a game, like an activity, an ordinary activity for everybody. Sport is an important social activity which helps people uh, creating and uh, developing community skills and social skills. Science has proven how kids that do sport develop themselves, psychological development, their cognitive capacity will be greater and, and the kids who, who actually are not active in sports, how they develop and, and, and the huge difference. La pratique sportive est une manière de grandir et de s'éduquer sans qu'on dise qu'on fait de l'éducation. Faire faire du sport aux jeunes, c'est leur apprendre un certain nombre de règles et de repères qui permettent à ces jeunes de pouvoir grandir, de devenir des hommes et des citoyens. We work with 11,000 kids and maybe two, two, three hundred will go on to competition level. But for the other 10,000 that we work with, it's this idea that there's a group of them and there's a team. Clearly there's a benefit at an individual level that if they're more active, they feel better. But what does an employer get from it? They get workers who are happy, people at work who are healthy, people who, who come to work as the absenteeism rates go down. And finally, probably having more productive employees. This September we will see the very first European Week of Sport. The week is for everyone, regardless of their age, background or fitness level. One week, a full week to create really a culture, to create a momentum. Uh, we need to lead by example. Parents, school teachers, whoever is part of society should think about how much they can influence the European Week of Sport is actually really, really important to give people a, a starting point, a time at which they decide this is when I'm going to start this behaviour, but also it's making them feel less isolated in this decision. The hardest thing to do with anything is to start, and once you've started, it doesn't take long for a behaviour to become a habit. So the European Week of Sport will be focused around four particular key settings. So we have education, schools, universities and colleges, and that will springboard them to a workplace. When they take on an employed life, they can then decide which particular things will they go on and continue to do in a social sense. Some people don't go to work, so where else can they go? And the settings clearly are important. Local parks, local natural environments, the green spaces that are available for people. And the final opportunity is the more structured um, physical activity. We've got fitness centres, we've got clubs that will provide particular kinds of sport choices for people. Toutes les initiatives qui permettent à la population d'être sensibilisée, de pouvoir faire du sport, alors que ce soit dans le milieu où les gens évoluent ou bien hors du milieu, et tout ce qui peut contribuer à inciter les gens à pratiquer doit être encouragé. I think Nelson Mandela has given the world a fantastic example of how he has used sport to unite a whole country. If a whole country can be united, then we definitely can get into the communities and, and use sports as a tool to create inclusive environment for everybody. Yeah, the European Week of Sport is a genuine European event. We would like to inspire people to be active during the sports week and beyond uh, during the whole year. We have to be able really to continue talking about the European Week of Sport till the next year and then we create a culture.